Welcome to today's nature moment. Today, I'm gonna to show you something that connects all of the following things together. Do you know what connects makeup? This beautiful color. Fruit cocktail. Candy. Do you know something that connects all of these things together? That's what I'm gonna tell you a little bit about today. The one thing that all of these have in common is something called cochineal. Cochineal is an insect that's native to Mexico and South America, and it lives on cactus plants, like uh, prickly pear plants, and they're tiny little insects. The cochineal insects, when I get them, they come in a little container like this. And I'm gonna show you what they look like. They're just these teeny tiny little things. Those are actually dried out bugs. And I'm gonna show you what they look like when you make dye. Now, if I add some water to these, and then squish them up in my fingers. See the dye that's coming out of these? Traditionally, the cochineal insects are removed from the cactus by hand. Then they're poured out on a plank and they're shook for about five to six minutes, which kills them. Um, you can use other methods like submerging them in a vat of hot wa water or putting them in an oven. Once dead, they're left in the sun to dry for several days. It takes 70,000 cochineal bugs to make one pound of cochineal dye. Uh, Peru is the biggest producer of cochineal dye and they uh, produce about 200 tons of dye each year. To get the dye, you crush the bugs and mix the resulting powder with some water and give it a stir and you have dye. Uh, cochineal dye comes in two forms, cochineal extract, which is the bodies of the pulverized bugs, and carmine, which is further processed uh, to produce a more purified color. Cochineal produces beautiful colors on wool and it can range in color from this kind of dark, deep red all the way over to this kind of purple color, depending on what mordant you use to set the color in the dye. And this is what it looks like on wool. And this is something else that I've dyed using cochineal as well. You can see it's a very uh, bright, vibrant color. And the thing that's really nice, you can use the cochineal if you dye something with indigo, which is another plant that produces blue, and you mix these two together, you end up with a really pretty shade of purple like this here. Now that's why I have these cochineal bugs is because I use them to dye wool. But as I mentioned, it's also used a lot in the food industry as a coloring. Um, a lot of times uh, fruit cocktail will have it in it. Um, frozen meats and fish, energy and energy drinks and powdered drinks, yogurts, ice cream, candy, syrup, chewing gum, jam, and that's just to name a few things that it's used in. And if you're like, oh, I'm just gonna read the labels and make sure I don't get anything that has cochineal extract or carmine or carminic acid in it, it's also used a lot in makeup that I showed you at the beginning of this talk. Um, it adds color vibrancy, longer wear, and shade intensity to the makeups. So it can be found in lipstick, lip balm, eye makeup, and blush. So this dye that I've got all over my fingers, all I have to do is wet it just a little bit, and I could put it on my lips, and it would make my lips turn red. Now that would be if I had enough dye on here. I don't think it, actually it might've added a little bit of color to my lips. So this is like do-it-yourself makeup. I hope you've enjoyed today's nature moment and aren't too terribly grossed out by the cochineal bug.